welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back again, surprise, surprise. Today's video is going to be a say it or shake it. I love this one. Any excuse for a little, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all there for it. And I've also got a super cute outfit on today. It's like a jumpsuit, but it's scrunch bum. If you are new to my channel, hello, and you don't know what say it or shake it is, it's kind of self-explanatory, but what I will be doing is I will be answering questions about myself, my life, whatever. And if I don't want to answer it because it's not YouTube safe or I just don't want to answer it, basically if I just don't want to answer the question for whatever reason, my forfeit is I have got to shake it. So it's fun for me to do and hopefully fun for you guys to watch. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Please make sure if you don't already to go hit the subscribe button. I would massively appreciate it. I am on all different platforms. I have Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, a YouTube vlog account. I have the whole lot. Plus the place that I am every day is my exclusive website. So if you want to come join me for my best stuff, including shaking it all the time, but without this, then make sure you go check that out. Just hydrating before the shaking time, guys. Okay, first question is, at what age, I'm gonna have to shake it. We've literally just started the video. At what age did I lose my virginity? So I just feel like this is personal to me. I'm not ashamed of when it happened, how it happened. It was a guy that I spent four years of my life with. Then he cheated. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna discuss ages of that because I just don't need to. So let's start the video off with a shake. Okay, so that was a good start. I know you're from England, but whereabouts in England are you from? Okay. So so I will answer this question because people always get really confused. Like I feel like when I say to people from Leeds, they're like, you don't sound that Northern. I think I have a Northern accent, like noticeably, but also it's not as broad as some people. So, so I was actually born in Halifax, but I only lived there for like a year of my life. So I was literally still a teeny tiny baby. Then I moved very, very quickly to Yorkshire. Lived in Yorkshire my whole life, Leeds, in and around like near Leeds. Lived in Leeds until I was about 16 years old and then when I was 16 I moved out and moved to London on my own to study in performing arts and that is when I lived in London for three years, two and a bit years. I first lived in North London and then I lived in, I don't know what part of London it is, but near Fulham and that kind of area. Then I moved back to Leeds for a year. Then I moved back down to Surrey, uh, Richmond on Thames to be a nanny for, it was just short, I think of three years. And then after that, I moved back up North and then I've just been a Leeds girl ever since. So I think it's obvious that I'm Northern, but then some people that are Northern themselves are like, you don't sound fully, fully Northern, so maybe that's why. Okay, so somebody has asked, somebody has asked, are you bisexual? Because I've spoken about kissing girls before. I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's a question to ask. I said you can ask whatever you like. Um, okay, so I am fully straight. Um, I'm not bisexual. I've always just been into men, but I appreciate a woman. I think women are beautiful. I just think, I just think we're, a, we're great. But I've never been like, I wanna be with a woman. So yeah, I am straight, I've always been with men, but I appreciate the beauty of women, sexuality of women. I think we're just great. I've kissed a fair few girls. Don't regret it, had fun, but no. It's more just a bit of fun. I am definitely straight. How old are you? <laughs> well, see ya. <laughs> no, I'm not ashamed of my age, but I feel like there's so many girls in my industry that don't talk about their age. So I feel like I'm kind of, I, I think I'm gonna copy. I'm in my twenties. There's nothing to be ashamed about, but I'm just gonna twerk. You don't, you don't need to know. And if you're a proper, proper long-term hardcore fan, you'll know. Let's get back to the question, shall we? Have you ever had a bad experience with a collab in this industry? 
Oh, juicy question. Juicy, juicy, drama-making question. I know what you want. You want the drama, you want the gossip. I'm not gonna give you it because I actually haven't had any. I feel like in this industry, genuinely, it's so supportive. There is girls from all over the country, other countries, we all comment on each other's stuff. It's like you will speak to someone and have such a deep conversation, you don't even know them. But because we do the same thing, it's kind of like a lot of us have the same like mind and thought process. Don't get me wrong, I think there's certain people in the industry that take it very competitively. I love competition. I think a little bit of competition is healthy. Um, but you do get some people that it's not that. It's more, can turn a little bit nasty, a little bit bitchy. A lot of people, I think, are out for themselves and they, you know, not scam people, but I think a lot of people, I won't go into what I'm gonna say there, but yeah, got to be cautious. Um, but I honestly, from every girl I have worked with, or spoke to in the industry, I have never had a problem. And that is that is like the honest truth. I've never fallen out with any. It's a very safe space and I feel like, not that I felt lost, cue the violence, but I feel like it's a certain type of person that does this job. I think it has to be a certain type of person to do this job, to put up with the hate that comes with it, just to put up with life in general, because unfortunately there's a big stigma with it. Growing up, I always knew I wanted to do something like glamour vibes. And it is different. It's not your everyday, you know, when you're when you're in high school and you go and have that meeting with this random person that comes in to tell you what job they think you will be good at. Like, I just remember thinking, like, no, I want more. Like, I want I I want to do more. And like, I want to take my clothes off and shake a bum in the in a micro bikini. Like, where's the job title for that? I love my job and I'm so happy. And I feel like it has connected me with a world of people that were all in that same mindset. And I've never had a bad experience. Honestly, everyone I've met has just been so nice. And I'm like, I love you all. Okay, so next question is, do you want marriage? I get so many messages on TikTok, like, when are you getting married? When are you getting married? And I'm like, bitch, do I look old? Like, are you expecting me to like, just do these things? I do want marriage, 100%. I've always wanted to be a bride, a sexy bride. No, I'm joking, all jokes aside. I will be twerking down the aisle. <laughs> I know in this day and age, it's still obviously people get married, but there's a lot more different views on it nowadays, I think, to what they used to be. But I also think people don't rush into it as much now. Not saying that for everybody, but like when I was younger, my head in my head was I'll meet a guy, I'll get married, then I have kids, you know? As a child, you just think there's kind of like this rule book of what the way to live life, and there really isn't. Like you can do things however the hell you want to do. Um, I'm not married, I don't have kids. Um, I have two fur babies, my two dogs, who I love to pieces. To answer your question, I do want marriage. I do want to get married. I want to have an amazing wedding day with all my friends and family and be so glamorous and have the best night ever. But it's not like a priority for me, you know? Like, I just want to have fun, I want to enjoy myself, I want to travel, continue to travel, like work hard. And one day I will, fingers crossed, be a wife, a wifey. Have you ever kissed more than one person on a night? I'm gonna have to answer that, cause yeah, I have. <laughs> a kiss, yeah, like a mwah. Okay, so someone has asked me, what is your biggest, darkest secret? And I am not telling you guys, a secret is a secret, and I'm not gonna be telling my deepest, darkest secret on my YouTube channel, so, that means I'm gonna have to mother check. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And for my last question, I have one more question. Let's see what it is. What has been your weirdest OF request? I could probably write a book on the requests I've had on my exclusive website. Unless someone's come on there and made me feel really uncomfortable and it's like genuinely like wrong, they get blocked. But the rest, some of them have made me giggle a little bit, but I'm not gonna say them on here because I'm not gonna say they're weird. Everyone has their own fetish. Everyone has their own thing that makes them 
turns them on so i'm not gonna like shame anybody you know like whatever does it for you does it for you and that's not anybody else's place to judge so yeah so i'm gonna twerk i'm gonna twerk one last time for you guys If you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would massively appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys, as always, never changes, very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.